Hi there YouTube, it's me Gemma at A Story and a Song and what I wanted to do today was to talk to you about some adaptations some adaptations that I like, some that I don't like and some that I really just wish would come into being. So number one is actually an adaptation I think that was better than the actual book itself and that is Hannibal. This is very shiny, that's better. Hannibal ran for three seasons on, I think it was NBC. Um, it was based on the prequel novels to Silence of the Lambs. It was based around Will Graham and Hannibal Lecter rather than Clarice Starling because they couldn't get the rights. Now, this was directed by Brian Fuller. It's absolutely gorgeously shot. The scripting is amazing and the sort of murderers of the week are always inventive and actually quite, quite arty rather than just straight up splatter gore, although there is a fair bit of splatter gore as well. I have read the Hannibal novels by Thomas Harris, not the most ginormous fan of them. Even when it comes to characters like Mason Berger, I feel like Brian Fuller did a much better job of portraying him on screen than Thomas Harris did in the books. And season three as well has some of the most gorgeous cinematography of Florence that I've ever seen, which is of course my favourite place. And uh, the finale, unlike a lot of TV finales, did not disappoint. It was an absolute barnstormer. So if you can, it's on Netflix, uh, UK at least at the moment, all three seasons. So I would thoroughly recommend watching Hannibal. It's a really amazing adaptation. And then next we have an adaptation that I would like to come into being, which is the Charlie Parker series by John Connolly. And this is the first book in the series called Every Dead Thing. It's based around a private investigator named Charlie Parker. Now, it does start off with a trope that I don't like, which is the fridging of a wife and a child. But it moves on from there. It starts sort of in media res. The murders have already taken place. And Parker's now doing his best to find the actual killer and chase him down. He has no intention of arresting him, if you get what I mean. He's aided by several a cast of characters, including two of my favourites, Angel and Louis. It's a really great book in and of itself. The series is very, very, very good. It's probably, I think, the best thriller series currently ongoing. And in the background, you can't see just now, but the latest book has actually arrived and I'm very excited to read that too. Now, I think this would make an amazing adaptation. It would make a fantastic TV series. It's as far as I'm aware not been optioned yet. I would love, love, love to know if any of you have a fan cast for Charlie Parker or for Angel or Louie. I would like Cal Keith Rennie to be in there somewhere, preferably playing Angel, but your mileage may vary on that one. If you've read these books, please do let me know what you think of them in the comments. And next of all, we have an adaptation that is actually already in production, and that is Shadow and Bone. Just checking out the new one here. And it is. Uh, the Grisha Verse is already in production. There was a casting call for an actress to play Alina Starkov. They're looking for an Asian actress. So if you're an Asian actress who would like to play in the Grisha Verse, the casting call is open. I think this will make a really good cinematic TV series. Much in the vein of Shadowhunters, if Shadowhunters was good. So I'm thoroughly looking forward to this. So next we have a book that I think has got an adaptation that is just as good as the book and that is the Expand series by James, sorry that was, I'm getting that in the frame, that is the Expand series by James S.A. Corey. Now this has been running now, I think it's on season number four, the seasons are now on Amazon Prime. It's an excellent hard sci-fi series, really great found family tropes which is just I'm just such, fine family is my favourite trope, it's my favourite, it's like, it's like crack to me. So it has that, it has some really great complex characters, it's got some great female characters, characters of colour, it does some really good things with different cultures within people that are born in space and people that are born on earth. It's beautifully acted, the special effects are amazing, the books are absolutely spectacular, I recommend both of them obviously. And then one that has been stuck in development hell for who knows how long 
and that is The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Look at this cover art. It's stunning. This is one of the original printings. And this, I'm sure a lot of you who read fantasy will already know about The Eye of the World, about the game, I was going to say game of Thrones, <laughs> about the Wheel of Time series. I would love to know your fan casts for any of the characters in the Wheel of Time. Now, it is a total stonker of a series. All of the books are at least this chunky, if not more. And there's varying points of view, there's time jumps, everything that you can possibly imagine. I think this would make a superb successor to Game of Thrones. It's not, as, however, as grim dark as Game of Thrones. And what I like about it is there's not a lot of added extra sexual assault, which is always the thing that puts me off um, of Game of Thrones and things like that. So I really would like to see this eventually make it out of development hell. Um, I can't remember who it was that was talking about having made it. I think Amazon were in talks at one point, but hurry up, please. And last of all is a guilty sort of pleasure one. I think A Court of Thorns and Roses should be made into a TV series by the CW. I think it should be the cheesiest series going. I think it should be have actors in it that are in their 30s playing 15 year olds. I think it should be like the Riverdale of fantasy, if you know what I mean. Like, just, just cheese. Sheer and utter brie, I think. I am about to start a second book hopefully so I don't know what happens and nobody spoil it for me um, but I did enjoy this it's such a guilty pleasure so I think it's a, a CW number. So that's everything about adaptations for the moment. In the comments I'd like to see what you would like to see adapted. I think we're all as well looking forward to Good Omens but I don't have my copy of that handy to show you so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think do you agree with my picks or, or not? And I will chat to you next time. Take care, YouTube. Bye-bye.